let us desire to see God face to face. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will own children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Today is the solemnity of all the saints, saints known and unknown. And the solemnity of all the saints, or All Saints Day, reminds us of who we are and how bright our future will be. Why bright, Father? Because I believe all of us has the potential to become saints. To be a saint is not a privilege for the few, but it is a vocation for everyone. Vocation means it is a call for you and for me to be saved. Maybe some of you will say, Hey, Father Jack, it is impossible for me to become a saint. I know my life. It's hard to be a saint. It's hard to be holy. And to tell you, my dear parishioners, most of the saints were sinners. You know, they have struggles in life, but they endured the struggles. They have their own personal weaknesses, but they grow from strength to strength. That's why All Saints Day, it is a celebration of God's great love and mercy that transform great sinners into saints. That's why today, 2021, as we celebrate the All Saints Day, I would like to encourage you, my dear parishioners, to, to dare to aspire to be something more because our potentials are endless. Who knows? One of us, although not uh, proclaimed by the church, but in our own little way, we have to live a saintly life every day. Now, maybe you will ask me, and Father John, what's the connection of the gospel in today's celebration? All Saints Day, and then our gospel speaks about the Beatitude. What's the connection? Well, the church chose the Beatitude as the gospel for All Saints Day because the Beatitudes 
are the right attitude to live a saintly life. The beatitude is the right attitude to live a saintly life. The beatitude, it is a perfect guide on how to become a saint. That's why, my dear people of God, dare to be a saint. In short, we have to upgrade our desires. We have to accelerate our goal. You know, to tell you honestly, it is wonderful to be called Father Jack. But it is more blessed to be called Saint Jack on the other hand. You know, try to listen to your name as I mentioned it one by one, you know. Can you imagine you will be Saint Jack? You know? Saint Norbert, Saint Marie, Saint Yvette, Saint Maria, Saint Joseph. Can you imagine yourself Saint Elise? Dare to upgrade your desire. Sainthood is a noble ambition. Desire for it. Because saints were ordinary people like us. And to tell you, nobody is born a saint. It is something you have to become. No one is born a saint. But you, my dear parishioners, have a great potential to be one. Saint Sandra, it's wonderful to hear. You know, to be holy like saints, we are challenged to live the Beatitude. And what's our guide? The Beatitude. It is our guide because, like the saints, we are encouraged to be poor in spirit. To be poor in spirit, to continue to be meek and gentle, that is, to be submissive and compliant to God, to strive for righteousness, to be continue to be merciful, to be pure in God. I mean, pure of heart. That is, we have to keep our emotions. Because when our heart is pure, we will see God. To be a peacemaker, not to be a troublemaker, but to love peace. To accept persecution with a smile. This is very hard. But this is the guide to a saintly life. And to be sad. We will hurt God because of our sins. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, to be blessed for true happiness is being with the Lord. True happiness is being with the Lord. That's why, like the saints, as what our responsory of Psalm is reminding us, let us long, let us desire to see God face to face. To seek God face to face must be our joy. Let me end by saying, intimate relationship with God is the true and genuine foundation of true happiness. The Beatitude is our guide to a saintly life because the Beatitude must be our right attitude.